Hi, welcome to our podcast, Rose Opal Knits. I'm Erica. And I'm Daphne. And this is episode four. First, I want to let you know that all the information we discussed today will be down below. You will also be able to find our contact information um, and our Instagram handles um, and information about our cow that we're hosting, our Colorwork Sweater Cow. Um, but we're going to start today with what we're wearing. I'm not wearing anything. She <laughs> is, just so y'all know. <laughs> uh, and so first thing you may notice is a finished object. This is my Katie shawl. The pattern's by Cozy Up Knits. And the last time I showed it on the podcast, that's where I was. So I completed it and I love it. All the ends are woven in, but I actually haven't blocked it yet because right now I think it's the perfect size to fit under my coat. So I'm not going to block it yet. But, and I will tell you the information on that. It's right here. <laughs> I had everything in this bag by Molly Klein Design. This is what I have left of the main color, which is Sonic Youth in Primrose Yarn Co. And then this is all I had left of this contrast color, which was a mini from Willow Tree Yarn. And then I also used these two. These were both 50 gram skeins, um, and they are Koopnitz Sakia. Yeah. So that's it. I love it. It's like my favorite thing right now. <laughs> and you may also notice that I'm wearing my Hyla sweater. I showed it off as a finished object last episode and I just thought I'd wear it today. <laughs> and so here it is. All the information for this sweater is um, in episode three. Um, I also have a project page for this on Ravelry. Um, and that's it and you're not wearing anything all right so do you want to go ahead and show a finished object sure I'll show okay. these first so these are my little baby socks they're kind of curling for some reason but these are just matching socks for my socks that I made a while ago I don't know what episode it was in I didn't bring them up here right now but they're matching little socks for my mommy and me socks yes mm -hmm. so these are her matching socks they are not an actual pattern, it's just a like heel flap and gusset. Yeah, vanilla. and then a wedge toe. Like super basic socks. I just looked at a pattern for the stitch count and that's it. And then did what you normally do for your yep. socks, but on a smaller scale. Yeah. <laughs> and they're only three inches because apparently that is the average size for a baby a newborn baby foot. You looked that up online? Yes, I looked that up. So that's what my that's what these are based off of. Just measurements. So and the yarn is super sock online yeah it's a number. number for the mm -hmm. color the information so, will be but i mean like i said notes. we've talked about it multiple mm -hmm. times because mm -hmm. i've showed this yarn quite a few times but little tiny baby socks so yeah that's all right my finished object <laughs> i have one more finished object and it's just a dishcloth <laughs> so after as soon as i like bound off my shawl I was like, I need something quick and easy and mindless, so I passed it on. I'm gonna show it compared to me because her sweater kind of oh. matches it and <laughs> you can't see it. Yeah, so <laughs> what it is, is it's two strands of Knit Picks Lindy Chain held together, and I believe the colors are Conk and Rouge. Um, but it's like a rosy red, rosy pinky red, and uh, kind of a peachy orange. And I used a uh, US 6 four millimeter needle and uh, the pattern I followed was grandma's, grandma's favorite dishcloth, the no holes option. Um, I think it's PJ Allen is who wrote the pattern. I'm not sure actually. That just is what's popping in my head. But you can find it on Ravelry. I actually think it's the same pattern that um, Amber of Yarn Hoarder uses when she makes her dishcloths. So 
that is a finished object. Can't wait to use it. All right, and then I have another one. This is actually the last finished object, just so you guys know. <laughs> but, so, the ends aren't all filling in yet, because there's a lot. But <laughs> anyway, so this is another little tune sweater by the Blue Mouse. And this one is for... Um, My daughter, yeah. Mary Rose. <laughs> Mary Rose. She's three. Yeah, so she's three. This is actually the six Y size. So, but this is my stitch marker. I was only in the collar. You can't really see it because of the colors. But I was only in the little Oh, is that where you ribbing. were in last yeah. episode? Oh, yeah. okay. So, <laughs> finished it. But, um, yeah, so this is it. And I did it in the Lions brand Comfy Cotton Blend. So, this is the tag. It is, um, I think it's just 100%. No, it's not. It's a 50% cotton and then 50% polyester. And so... The main color, this color, is Enchanted Embers, and then the white is actually called Whipped Cream. We think so. the Enchanted Embers looks like Fruity Pebbles. And then it looks like it's in milk. So when you add the Whipped Cream, so. Fruity Pebbles and milk. Yep. <laughs> That's what I decided it looks like. But here are the colors in balls. That's all I have left. It is a, sorry, I'm looking at the tag. It is a 200 gram ball of yarn. So this is what I have left. Of the enchanted embers and this is the the cream color so you can make you can probably make any of the sizes with this yarn if you guys wanted to but because I think this is like the second biggest size so definitely had enough to make the even bigger size if I wanted to Mary Rose tried it on right before it was finished and she was very pleased with it, so. Oh, she thinks those. she thinks my little stitch marker is staying on. I'll actually take it off because y'all saw it. <laughs> so you guys can see it. It's just a little tiny colorful ball. That's from Molly Klein design, I think. Shaking. You can't really see it whenever it's not focusing. <laughs> but yeah, so she thinks that this was staying on it. This was her favorite She thought it part. was sweater bling. <laughs> yeah, she thought it was staying on it, and I think she might be a little upset when I tell, oh, like, when girls. I give it back to her, and it's not on there anymore. <laughs> but so that is another tune sweater. That's the third one I've made, mm -hmm. all different sizes, all <laughs> different colors. So, but this sweater is really easy. So if you want a baby sweater, that's you've your... got more too that you're yeah. Gonna there's another one. You'll see it in a minute when we get there. So. Oh, yeah. Gonna move on to works in progress. Yeah. Want me to start? Sure. Okay. So <laughs> just because I just discussed my dishcloth, I cast on another new little one. Um, so there's not much to see there, but I'm using Knit Picks Lindy Chain again, uh, two strands held double, and I actually have the ball bands for these, so I'll show you. One is Lindy Chain in Navy, and the other one is in Celery. So, I'm just going to work on that. I'm in a, a dishcloth move. I'll show you guys the actual yarn. There you go. So you can see the colors. Oh, I'll show the balls. Yeah. Yeah, there they are right there. This is on a US 6. Yep. Just so you guys know. <laughs> My, I didn't even say this, this is on, the ribbing is a five, and then the rest of the sweater is a six, a US six, and five, just so you guys know, mm -hmm. but yeah. And, oh, and this is in an old mini tote bag I have, it's just a Land's End mini tote bag, and it's the one I put my few pins on, so, that's it. What do you want to show? I'll show this one first. We'll just do that one last because it's the cow. Oh, okay. Just because. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways, so we got invited to a baby sprinkle for... Um, My sister-in-law. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but she... Do you think she would care if I said... Well, I, it's kind of obvious. Anyway, so she's having a little girl. No, and she wouldn't care. We decided yeah. that we're going to know her stuff. She doesn't have her thing started. But I started mine because I was like... She really it's liked it. Yeah. But anyways, so when I had my son I made him a blanket out of the same yarn and not the same color but the same yarn and it is the Karen Big Cakes and it is um what is it hold on it's just a hundred percent acrylic yarn but I like it 
And this is the boysenberry color. So my husband chose the color because it's like his family. So I was like, you got to choose a color for me. And I'm doing it on a size 10 and a, US 10 and a half needle. But so this is it. It's kind of on the wrong size cord for this, but it's okay. Anyway, so this is it. And it's just garter and stockinette. So I'm just following the stripes. It's not an actual pattern. I cast it on like 220 stitches, I think. And so it's going garter stitch, stockinette, garter, stockinette. So every color I'm switching to the other every one. Every color change you're switching. Yeah. Okay, so, from between garter and stockinette. Can't really see it, but it is. It's stockinette and garter. So, But she really liked how my son's turned out. And she really liked the feel of it and everything. So I was like, I'll make her a blanket for her daughter. And, you know, you definitely, with baby items, you want to use something that's easy to clean. And so acrylic is perfect for that. Yeah. And this is just in my tote bag, I guess. You showed that. Tote bag. Yeah, I showed it last time because mm -hmm. I got it last time. But mm -hmm. this is my bag for it. It's actually a really nice size for blankets. But yeah, so that's my blanket. Like I said, there's no pattern for it. I'm just switching between stockinette and garter. There's a magnet in my bag. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so. Kids. <laughs> All right, well, my next work in progress is this cow that I pulled out of hibernation. Last episode, I showed it. I was right here getting ready to start the color work. And so that's how much I've done. And I'm really enjoying it. Oh, I'm going to lose stitches. I don't think I've done that at all stitches <laughs> oh really I don't think so but I'm really enjoying it and um, I'm knitting it helical the stripes are helical because I wanted to practice that and these are they were originally knit pick stroll bear yarn that I dyed with food coloring so um, what I'm using and I just started the second color work section but I'm having a lot of fun knitting that and that's it oh I didn't say what size needle I think it's a US <laughs> show your bag either oh you're right that's I like the best bag <laughs> I know you love this bag I don't know why <laughs> I think I like it because it's like the drawstring yes chow goo US 2.5 or three millimeter needle and this is a bag that I got a couple years ago from Stitching Plaza on Etsy and it has Eiffel Towers on the inside all right okay so I'm gonna talk about my bag first this is a new one by Molly Klein designs that's and a new acquisition right you just yes got so mm -hmm. yeah I just got this I got a couple of things but this is like the last yarn purchase that I'm making for a while. I told myself that and my husband, so I'm not allowed to. But anyway, so this is my bag. It's got little narwhals on it, and the reason I actually chose this bag is because when we found out that I was pregnant with our son, we went to the aquarium, and he, Holden, decided that he really likes narwhals and wants our son's favorite animal to be narwhals, so the narwhal theme continues, so... He seems to like his normal stuff, so it's okay. But anyway, so inside the bag, I have another tune sweater, little tune sweater. So this is all I have. It's in pink. The stitch markers are crazy, but that's how you do the pattern. It's actually not that bad. But so this is it. And the yarn is um, Lion's Brand Kaboo. I don't really know how to say that, but I'll show you the tag. This is the tag for it. It is a 51% um, cotton and then 49% rayon from bamboo. And this yarn, the pink color is pale pink and then it, the stripes are going to be beige, which is actually bizarre. Is that what it's called? Yes, beige? it's actually called beige. Oh, okay. They're normally not called simple names like that, but yeah, it's called beige. But um, so this yarn was chosen because my this sweater is for my niece and she has a little bit of a sense like sensitivity to different fabrics it seems like and different things so 
just to be sure it's not gonna mess irritate her yeah, the skin or anything should be fine yeah but these this is on my us size six which is a four millimeter so and this one is going to be the 12 month size so all i have not knit the same size sweater at all so so yeah this is the last tune little tune that i'm making but i also have for now <laughs> no the last little tune i'm knitting i'm not knitting another little tune okay i think four is plenty but so another little tune hopefully the last one that's the last little kid i know though so and the, the little tune is by emily of the blue yes House. Yes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so hopefully this is the last little tune. I do have the regular size tune sweater for myself. I do not have yarn for that. I don't plan to have yarns for that for a little while. But I do have the pattern. I can make it for myself. I just have not. All right. Well, I have been working on socks. Not a lot, but I did get some work on them. So... This is a DK weight sock that I'm knitting for myself. And it is two fingerings held double. This is Lolo Did It Hippo for St. Patty's Day. It's from 2017. And then this one is Regia Soft Glitter in this gray color. The actual color is a number though, right? Yes, uh -huh. yeah. and that'll be in the notes. So the last time I showed my sock, and this is just a slip stitch detail with in like a pearl ridge um, side. My but, side of the camera is closer, oh. so it's easier for me to show stuff so you guys can actually see it. That's why I keep taking her stuff to show it. But I just, here, so. you know, found this stitch in a stitch dictionary and then wrote up the wrote it up for the sock and um but this is where I was the last time I showed the sock so I did a little bit more of the pattern before I started the heel and it's a slip stitch heel flap and then I did the turn and now I'm working on the gusset decreases so I'd like to have my socks finished by St. Patrick's Day but who knows <laughs> and then I would if I was only knitting on one pair of socks, but I can't just knit on one pair of socks. I've <laughs> got to knit on multiple. So this is a DK weight sock for my husband. This is where I was the last time I showed it. So I knit the leg, slip stitch, heel flap, did the turn, and now I'm working on the decreases for it. And that is two fingerings held double. This is Knit Picks stroll in dove heather and then this is patton's croy socks fx i think in the admiral colorway i think but like i said the information will be in the notes so and then the final sock i've been working on is this sock for my daughter mary rose and i am using regia perfect kids color um, however it is perfect but I'm not following the perfect I um, didn't want them to be knee-high socks and I thought they were looking like they were going to be super tall so the last time I showed the sock I was right before the heel flap so I've knit the heel flap the turn and I'm in the gusset decreases so that's where I am with my socks right now What do you have? Okay, oh, I know. So this is, I don't remember who this bag is by, but this is a bag that I bought. And like we said, it'll be down below mm -hmm. if you want to know. But I bought this not that long ago, so it's okay. But anyway, so in here, I haven't showed this in a while, but this is my Ivy Cardigan by the Blue Mouse. And I have a tag too. Hold on. Anyway, so I'm using the Scout yarn. Cowboard Woolen Scout. It's a DK weight, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's a hundred percent wool. But so this is the color. It's um strawberry heather is the color. So I got a lot of pieces to this. But anyways, so last time I showed this, I had this panel. This it's not 
laying flat already. But anyways, <laughs> this is blocked, so it's this other panel. So I had this panel done, and I was here on this one. So this is the left panel, this is the front right. So finish this panel. Fix it later. And this is on a US size nine, and I'm using my nitpicks actually for this. But anyways, so the reason I stopped working on this is because I got to one of the rows and I was supposed to change how I was doing the lace detailing and I didn't realize that until I went to the next lace detail. So I knit two rows basically. And then I was like, oh man, I gotta go back and undo this. And I didn't want to undo it, so I just didn't touch it for a while. So you put it in time out for a little bit. Yeah, it was just Well, bad. it is your first lace yeah. um, project. Okay, look, so. I think there's like 92 stitches on this. Like, it was not hard to go back at all. <laughs> but anyways, so this is how far I am now. It's kind of curling because mm -hmm. this section is not blocked. But, so, since then, I knit that whole panel and all this and you can't really see the lace because it's tan behind us but it's yeah okay. there's a whole bunch of lace detailing you can see the holes if i move it around but <laughs> it's kind of very similar to it's the, it's the what's same. on the front of the yeah it's just like five of them right next to each other but yeah so that's my ivy cardigan I'm trying to finish it but well, then i think about the and then i think about other things that i could do I do that instead. Well, that's just kind of the way it is. Yeah, but it's okay because knitting is supposed to be fun. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it is fun. So <laughs> that's the Ivy Cardigan by the Blue Mouse again. All right. And so next, we're going to talk about our projects that we cast on for the Colorwork Sweater Cow that we are hosting, and um, that started on February fifteenth, and it goes to June fifteenth, and we are hosting it on Instagram. And you can use the hashtag ROK Colorwork Sweater K A L um, to join in. And you can knit any size sweater from infant to adult. And you don't have to finish the sweater to um, be entered in to win the prize. Um, you can, whips are allowed. Um, so we would like, you know, that you still had the colorwork portion of your sweater to knit. Um, but you know, we're not gonna police the hashtag. Um, but please, if you are working on a colorwork sweater or you're planning on starting one, um, please join us. Or if you have wanted to knit a colorwork sweater but you haven't given colorwork um, a try yet, why not just try? Start out with a sweater if that's what you want to knit. Um, just you know, we're we just want to encourage you know people who are interested in knitting colorwork sweaters. This is Daphne's first colorwork um, pattern. She just jumped right in with the sweater because she's just hardcore like that. Okay, look, <laughs> this all started because I was like, I'm gonna knit the sweater. It's called the Bright Feather. I don't know who it's by, I forget. Jennifer Stein, guess, I think. There you go, mm -hmm. probably. That does sound right. But anyway, so I saw that online and I was like, I would make this. And I had, I'm actually just gonna show that. So I had, this yarn that I bought on um, Noble Character Crafts. So this is my tag for it. It's called Wilderness. It's a pitter patter fingering weight. It's a 75, 25 with super wash merino and then 25% nylon. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so this all started because of this yarn. She bought and it. then we bought it because her shop was closing. And this is what I chose because I like the dark colors in it because it's like really pretty. But anyway, so I bought this yarn and then I was like, one day I was just like, I'll make this sweater because it's really pretty. And then she's like, I got one too. So we can just do a cat. I've got like five so color sweaters I want to cast on. All this started because I said I was going to knit a fingering weight color work sweater. Mm -hmm. So we so. decided to do the cow. The courage, you know, to get lit, light the fire under me to yeah. start one of mine. But anyway, so this is actually, I actually said like last year, I will never knit a fingering weight sweater. She and did. then I'm like, color work, yes. Bright she feather. looked me in the eye and said Yeah, I looked at her. I was just sitting there, and I'm like, I'm going to make color work sweater out of this. And then she's like, it's fingering weight, though. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, you said you weren't going to do that. I'm like, okay, well, look. Yeah. Things change. Things so change. she's jumped in um, with her first color work project ever with a sweater. When I started color work, I was like, I'll start with a cow. And I think I knit two or three cows first. So, um, our cows. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've only knit one of those and it wasn't even for me. But I don't like things around my neck very much. Oh, yeah, so you wouldn't okay. use it. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we both cast on. Um, do you want to show yours first? Sure, why not? Okay. okay, so mine's in my little Target basket. <laughs> that we found. They're really cute. But anyways, so... It's all tangled. But anyways, so this is a rug by... Do you know how to say your name? Junko Odomoto or Junko Odomoto? I don't know how to I'm say not sure. Bye. I'm sorry if I butchered that. I don't mean to. <laughs> anyway, so this is my rug. You can't see the details super They're great. Not, the yarns aren't high contrast. Yeah, but, but you can see it. Yeah. yeah, you can see that there's color in it, but mm -hmm. like that's supposed to be across. Like this first little section, you can barely see it. That's supposed to be across, and then like I don't really know what this detail is, but it's really pretty. Still like I'm cute. sure, just look it up online, you know, like anywhere on Instagram, you can find it. But the yarn is the, hold on, I can't even find Noro. it. Noro. Noro. Yeah. Here, I have the tag. It looks pretty on the screen. Yeah. I was worried you wouldn't be able to see it at all, but this is the tag. So the main color, which is this darker color, is number one. So this is it. And I'm using a Sport weight yarn held double, so I'm holding two strands of this yarn together, and then for the color work section, it is number nine, and it is this color. So all of this is actually, I wanted it to be a little bit smaller because the bust for this sweater is like 46 inches. I'm not a very big person, so that would be like huge on me. So I decided to um, basically turn it into a worsted weight yarn instead of the Aran weight. And then I also went down a needle size. I think I only went down one. Because I think it calls... That's a US 8. Yeah. I think it calls for a US 9 for the Aran weight. So I went down a needle size and a yarn size because I didn't want it to be, like, massive on me. So it's still going to be oversized like it's supposed to be, but did change you the didn't, yarn. You didn't knit a gate swatch, or you did? I started to... But then I was like two inches in and I'm like, this is fine. Because it's not like, I don't like gauge swatches, but it's okay. But anyway, so it's supposed to be overweight anyway. I mean, overweight. Oversized. Oversized mm -hmm. anyway. So I was like, it'll be okay. Plus like, I'm not even done with the increases and it's like there, you know? So it's like, it will fit me. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so that's my color work sweater. And I also decided to do this one before the bright feather because... That one's not fingering weight. This one isn't fingering weight. So I was like, I feel like I shouldn't do the sweater I really want before I do anything else. It's not that I didn't really want this sweater because I actually really like this sweater and this yarn and all the feel of it. So, But this was basically my first color work instead of doing it on fingering weight and... And this, this yarn has more of a grip than the yeah. um, merino sock yarn. Yeah, it would be a little so, bit slippier. So, slip, so it'll be easier for your color work. Yeah, so this is my first color work. And my floats, I'll turn it inside out because I was very proud of this. It looks crazy, but my floats are not tight at all. But, like, I figured out that if I use my fingers as a measuring tool, it makes it work. Yeah, your floats look nice. Yeah, so my floats are actually really nice, and I'm actually very proud of my floats. So, like, this is the first section, and they are actually, like, really even. I actually haven't looked at it, like, that close. But, yeah. So, not as hard as I thought to do color work. I feel like I twisted my yarn all up, but it's okay. I'll fix it later. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. So, that's my rug. So, I decided <coughs> to cast on the Alfeda, or Alfeda, by Jennifer. Oh, that's showing the pattern. By Jennifer Stein, yes. It's in this book. Um, the Art of Circular Yokes. Um, and I have like three color work sweaters on Change my, I will in a minute, on my make nine. And this is not on my make nine. So I of course decided to cast this one on first, but so this is my bag by Fat Girl Sewing. Um, it's a great sweater size bag. I always like seeing the bags cause I think they're really cute. So <laughs> I like to show them and I cast it on and knit the color. And I'm at uh, the first increase row, so that's, I'll work on this more right now, but I just basically just knit the collar and was like, okay, that's gonna put that aside, and knit on some other things. And I am using Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool that I dyed a couple years ago with Wilton Icing Dyes. And so this is gonna be the color of the main body. And then the color work 
I am holding two together. I'm holding a DK weight and a fingering weight together. No, I don't think I have the band. Yeah, I do. Here they are. So this color, right, <laughs> that is Kelborn Woolen Scout, and it is in the color Scarlet Heather. It looks redder on the screen than oh, it yeah. actually no, is. Oh, yeah, no, it's like person. better when we hold it yeah. back here. Uh, but, like, it's still really dark. It's actually, well, I mean, it's dark anyways, but it's more like pinkish. Not like a super bright pink. Like it's actually darker, like a deeper tone mm -hmm. of what it's showing on the camera. And I'm going to hold it double with this, which is this Marisol Cusco, maybe. Um, and it is, let's see if it's got a color on it. Shade five is what color it is but it's pretty um so i'm holding these together for the color work portion and i did do a gauge swatch and the pattern calls for worsted weight on u.s size five needles and i was like there is no way i'm going to be knitting this sweater on u.s size five needles i am knitting it on size five i thought you changed it to a size six did i i thought you did maybe i'm i thought you said you did i could have i could be wrong. We both did the swat the gauge swatches for both of You're them. You're right, on the same I day. did. Yeah, and then I thought I was, I was like, knitting it. No, yeah, it's US six for uh four millimeter. See, I thought a nine was crazy for Aaron weight, and I was like, that sounds crazy. So I was like, no, and then I was like, okay, I'll do a size eight. And then I did the gauge swatch and I was like, Yeah, I'm doing a size eight. <laughs> but I think I knit the um the collar on a or maybe. Oh, I'm losing my balls of yarn. Yeah, so the collar was on a US 4. So there's that. I hope to have more done next time. <laughs> All right, so like I said, join us for our file on Instagram, please, if you are so inclined. And next, you want to talk about acquisitions yeah, and future knitting? No, I don't have any more whips. I'm all done. Okay. All right. You want to go ahead and start? Yeah. You want to start with the knit crates? Sure. So we did the knit crates again. And so it is paired with Creative Grandma. I don't know. I don't want to say that because I know I'm not going to say it right. But anyway, so this is a sport weight yarn and it is... Yeah, wait, is it? It's sport weight. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's sport weight is um 80% superwash merino and 20% How do you say that? What? Tencel. Tencel. I'm not good with words <laughs> and reading, so it's okay. But anyways, so I did the neutral or natural, whatever it is. Yeah, neutral, natural. 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 I always uh -huh. forget. But anyways, so I think it's called sprout, right? Yeah. Wait. Yeah, sprout. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, so this is it. And I did surprise me, and I ended up with the chill out colorway, which is sky. And it's pretty, and, and they come with these buttons. They're really pretty. That was the bu the bonus, right? Yeah, yeah, this is the little extra piece that they have. Mm -hmm. Apparently, they're fully washable. They don't feel like it because, they like, feel like ceramic. Yeah, they feel like they wouldn't be. I don't know what they're made out of, though. It says that they are giving employment to women in South. South Africa, handmade, fully washable buttons. They're really pretty though. But anyways, mm -hmm. so this is the yarn, and yeah. So. The pattern, the knitting pattern that came with it in the booklet. Um, well, I mean, it's, they're both on that page. Oh. Yeah. Okay. The one page your finger. So that's the, and then that's the socks for. Oh, okay. Sand dunes, hat, and finger warmers. Is that what it's Hand called? warmers. Um, I think I'm going to use the pattern in the booklet and the yarn together and knit the, those. I think I'm going to make the mittens or hand warmers, whatever you want to call them. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I'm going to do the hat because I don't wear hats at all. I don't wear hats either, but my daughter does. So I think she would like to have I another would, hat. I would make one because, I mean, 
either Holden or Mesa would wear one, but I think I don't think they would wear that color at mm-hmm. all. So I don't think I'm gonna make the hat mm-hmm. at all. So, mm-hmm. but yeah. Well, you could make two pairs of hand warmers, and eventually, um, you yeah. and the baby can have matching hand warmers when she. I don't know. That. I might not even make the, the mittens, original, yeah. but we'll mm-hmm. see. So far, I haven't decided that I'm knitting something else with it yet, like I did with last month. Mm-hmm. But do you want to show you yeah. your next? Okay. okay. All right. So I already talked about this yarn, so I'm just gonna show it again. It's the No Character Craft Wilderness Color. And like we said, this, don't try looking for this shop that's not there it's close. right now. Yeah, yeah. She's, she's not dying yarn anymore. But anyways, so that's for the right feather, and I finally got the yarn to match with it. And this is the reason why I'm not buying any more yarn for a little bit, because this is Coop Knit Sock, yeah. So this is the color, this is going to be the main color of my bright feather, with the brown as the actual like feather color work section. But this is, I didn't even look at the color. Aventurine. Oh, I'm so blind. But anyway, so <laughs> this is it. We spent like an hour, hour and a half in the yarn store looking for this color. But Not me, you and your no, friend. Yeah, it was me and my friend. Uh-huh. But yeah, so this is, those are the colors together. So, so. Mm-hmm. so you got a, a sweater's quantity of that, and now yeah. she's on a yarn buying break. Yeah. Well, I mean, like. I'm not going to get through all my yarn. And then no. I'm going to have another kid. And I'm not going to get through all my yarn still. So it's like, <laughs> no more yarn. It's okay. But yeah, so this is my last, well, almost last month, I guess. So. Mm-hmm. This is my last thing that I bought for a while, at least. I'm really excited about it. So yeah. We'll see when I get to the bright feather. I'm planning to finish the rug first before I do the other sweater. But who knows? I might cast it on. Yeah. But I do have another sweater that I did not work on at all. Yeah. Downstairs. So. The York sweater. Yeah. Yeah. But I finally figured out how to do increases in the short rows without yeah, a hole holes. because of yeah. the rug sweater. And apparently I don't know how to do the German short rows well, without making a hole. Like I always get a little tiny hole. Like so it would be like right there. There would be a little tiny hole in all my sweaters. <laughs> what you like? I might actually. You like the Japanese short, uh, short rows yeah, though in the like, rug sweater. You guys might not be able to see it. But there is... A little tiny hole. No, yeah, you can't, can't see, see it, it at all. I can but see there it. is a little tiny hole right there where you turn to do the German short rows. And I'm like, every time I've gotten it in every sweater so far, there's just like a little hole right there. And I'm like, but there's no holes in the Japanese short rows. So I prefer that way now. <laughs> so. Well, my next purchase I bought for one for each of us. <laughs> and it is this enamel pin says podcasting God, with a glaring. yarn ball. <laughs> so I just, when I saw that, um, I thought I need to buy one for myself and for <laughs> Daphne. And it's um, channypeascorner.com, but it'll be in the um, information below. I don't, there is a glare. Sorry about that. So we'll just take it out of the plastic. I was going to do that. And then I was like, sorry like the, the plastic noise. noise. I feel like it's still gonna glare because it's like there. shiny. Oh, <laughs> it like focused for a minute when you, yeah, there <laughs> we go. <laughs> so there's that. And I don't have any more acquisitions. Do you have anything else? Nope. Okay, but I That's do all. have um, something from Stash. Um, so we talked about my sister in law's having another baby, a little girl. She's due in April. So we're going to her sprinkle. Um, in a couple weeks and I pulled this out of my stash Is that upside down? upside down? They're both, They're both upside, upside down. down. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so I pulled that out of my stash and um, It's just a number 0716. It's not a colorway name, but and I'm gonna knit her a little dress. I'm not sh- quite sure of the pattern yet but I will know within the next day or so because I've got to cast it on and get it knitted. So, but this is future knitting for me. So, so we're probably going to make a video showing our actual or pictures or something. Wait, next the time, baby items because we'll we won't have them yeah. for the next episode. But I, I am getting better with the editing. Mm-hmm. I am not perfect. My son makes fun of me, but 
<laughs> it's my husband that makes yeah. fun of it, just so you know. Because he, he wants to be a streamer on Twitch and everything like that. So, so he thinks he knows He's studying everything. all the stuff, yeah. yeah so, so he's a big know-it-all. Even though we're is. the ones that are actually like, yeah. doing stuff yeah. <laughs> he's just talking about it but no um but anyway so i'm getting better with editing so i think that if we take if if we record a short video i'll be able to work it into the podcast episode so if not we'll just take yeah we'll figure it out and yeah. post it on uh, the next podcast just so you guys know yeah. we won't show them on the next podcast at all because they, have they to be, will already be gifted yeah because mm -hmm. they have to be done by the 7th march 7th right yeah what's today's date though I don't even know. It's like the the twenty fifth, yeah, February twenty fifth. Right? I don't know. I haven't been to work. February twenty fourth. <laughs> it's Monday, February twenty fourth. <laughs> Wait, I knew that because everyone and messed it's a up the dates cloudy at day outside, outside, and that's what weather is like right now in Delaware. Um, but yeah, but so anyway. we, the blanket will be finished. Her little dress, everything will be finished. We won't show them like actually like with us, but we'll show them in the next podcast, either with a picture or a video clip. Yes. Put in there somehow. somehow. We will have it. We'll have it somewhere <laughs> next time. Just if you are all, at all interested, <laughs> we will figure out a way to show it to you. Yeah. Um, They'll be on Instagram though, for sure. Yeah. I'll post a picture there. <laughs> so, I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. So, well, we appreciate you stopping by and watching us again. If you are a returning viewer, if you're new to the podcast, we hope you stuck around this long and you enjoyed what you um, just watched. We appreciate everyone who subscribed and liked and left comments and um, we're just having a lot of fun doing this. And so we just wanted to say thank you. And, you know, please leave a comment if you have any questions, you know, ask us, we'll be happy to answer your questions. Um, and definitely join the cow. Yes, yes, join the cow. No one has so far. It's kind of sad. It's okay. It's alright. I mean, like, who, who just randomly picks up a colorless cutter? You yeah, know, like, you do kind of have to have a plan for that and, yeah. you know, the yarn and everything. We understand that, but it would be fun to knit along with other people and get to know you guys better um, through that process. So, um, but we hope you have a great two weeks and we will see you in March. All right. Bye. Bye.